Welcome back. Well, this morning I'm joined by Ashley Geist here to talk about a huge rummage sale that's coming up. And whether you like to maybe just go walk around rummage sales or take part of them yourself, this may be just for you. So, Ashley, for starters, for those who aren't sure exactly how this huge community rummage sale works, yeah. how, how do you guys put this on? How does this even go about? Well, so this started in 2013, and while I wasn't exactly part of the mastermind planning <laughs> behind it, it actually was one of the very first um, community activities I ever worked on when I started my position with the chamber. Um, they wanted to model it kind of after, um, we worked with the Gwyn Sawyer mm -hmm. Chamber at that time, um, because they had theirs the first week in June, and we said, you know, our mission statement is to promote growth and quality of life here. This is a really nice way to get people out and about in their communities, meeting their neighbors, um, going out with their friends and, and uh, seeing what you know is out there in the community and while you're doing your spring cleaning, getting rid of your <laughs> stuff at the same time. So um, it was just something that started as a way to really just promote the communities coming together because this uh, is open to the whole west end of Marquette County. So we do cover two cities and nine townships. So that's a whole lot of rummage sailing you can do. <laughs> Th so. That is, and I know people love their rummage sales. You yes. see them just about every weekend. So this is kind of a, a collaboration of all that fun and mm -hmm. also a chance for people, maybe if they've got some stuff they want to sell, they can get signed up as well, right? Right, yeah. So how it works is um, you can pay $10 to get on our listing location or our location list. And um, that $10 is non-refundable, but it, it mostly goes towards the cost of printing all of our um, our location mm -hmm. lists and you know the cost of that um, but you pay the ten dollar fee to sign up and we'll put your address on the list we'll put the items that you're selling on the list so we ask people to write like their top three items <laughs> um, and then the hours that your uh, sale is going to go now we have set aside one day for the actual sale which is this year Saturday June 11th um, but we do give the people the option to run their sale Friday Saturday and Sunday um, just because a lot of the time people will like to come after work on Fridays and they'll do those preview <laughs> sales in the evening and then they'll um, oftentimes on Sunday if there's things that don't sell on Saturday people even go w with free stuff or they half off a lot of their things so um, we'd like to give people those options all right now for the people out there who maybe are interested in signing up of course yes. you say you want to get them signed up uh, pretty mm -hmm. soon here yes um, we have listed on all of the posters and on our website as the deadline being uh, Friday June 3rd however we will probably still be accepting everything <laughs> up until Monday um, Monday will be the last day cut off um, we do have the applications in our chamber office which we're located in Ishpeming um, in the Jubilee Foods parking lot on the highway um, and and then we do have the application on our website as well, which is GINCC.org. Um, it's on there in a PDF format, so you can just print it out. You can either mail it in um, to our chamber office if you can't make it in. I know some people work and the hours don't allow them to come into the office. so. Um, they can mail it in. If it gets there by Monday, it will be fine. Um, or they can feel free to bring it in this week still. All right, perfect. So, of course, you want to get those maps ready for people. And for those who want the maps, where can they, uh, can they track those down at? Sure. So when we get everybody signed up, which Monday will need to be our deadline <laughs> for it, but um, what I'll do on Tuesday is I section everything out into um, where the rummage sales are located so it's easier for people looking at the list to be able to find them. So I'll put, you know, like Ishpeming Township, uh, Ishpeming City, City of Nagani, Nagani Township. So if you're using a GPS, it might be a little bit easier for you to plug in the uh, addresses. And uh, so they'll be able to pick up hard copy lists in our office probably about two days before the event. So I'm thinking um, next Thursday they'll probably be available in office. And then we'll also put them up on our website um, when we get them in as well. So people can access them electronically um, if they're out and about you know, on Saturday, <laughs> June 11th, and just want to pull it up on their smartphone. Um, but we, our chamber office is actually not going to be open during the sale um, next Saturday. So um, what we'll do on Friday before we close is we'll go distribute hard copy lists to the Holiday Gas Station in Ishpeming and uh, the Holiday Gas Station in Nagani. Um, we have done that um, most of our prior years just so that it's nice for people to have an access location where they can go and grab a hard copy list um, while they're out and about on Saturday. All right, perfect. So um, you're in here first. Get yourself. Go ahead. And if you're a rummage sailor, 
get yourself signed up. And if, yeah. if you want to just stop by, don't forget June 11th. Ashley, I want to thank you for uh, joining us this morning. And uh, I know the Rummage Sale fans are real excited about this. Yeah, we're excited about it too. And we hope, we hope you get registered and sign up. So. All right, you heard it from Ashley. Get yourself registered. Mm -hmm. Take part in this. It's going to be a lot of fun, of course. Coming up June 11th, get registered by Monday. And um, coming up after the break, maybe you can pick up a book for some summer reading. Ansley Watson has more on that fun after the break.